Hello, Central Oregon. Eric Pasha here with Home Source of Neighbor Impact. Today, I am here with Rochelle Grenot to join me for another edition of our Financial Survival Guide series to help you stay informed about what you can do to protect yourself in a fast-changing financial environment. Uh, Rochelle is a mortgage loan officer here in Central Oregon. She has been working with homeowners for over 20 years in Washington and joined us here in Central Oregon in May of 2019. And you can tell that she's got a passion for working with first time home buyers because she has worked in an, as an advocate for organizations like ours throughout her career. Rochelle, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So let's talk mortgages. How has financing a home changed in the last few months? Well, we had several weeks there where some of our programs got suspended um, due to the unknown of what was taking place with the pandemic and job losses. So um, some of those programs were suspended for a while and now we're starting to see them come back. So I think we're in better shape now. We have seen um, during that time, we also saw some of the programs require higher credit scores and we're starting to see those come back to a normalization as well. Yeah, excellent. So some changes in actually the mechanics of getting approved for a loan, it sounds like. Yes, yes. And, and it was all based on risk and just making sure that um, people had jobs. It's important in home lending that people have jobs. So that's what it was around. That's right. Making sure that uh, the, that situation hasn't necessarily changed in a material way when it comes to the home buying process. Correct. And we'd have to do a little bit more um, verification on that than we've had to in the past. And we just have to, right before closing, make sure that um, borrowers still have their jobs. Right. Exactly. So what can uh, borrowers do to stay informed about some of the new lending requirements or some of these new overlays that are going into the process? Well, I would reach out to whatever lender that they're working with and just stay up to date and ask questions. Um, it's uh, like you said, it's kind of a rapidly changing environment. So it's helpful just to speak if you're in the process or you're going to start the process, you know, talk to your lender once a week and just kind of make sure that nothing's changed since you originally contacted them. And then, um, you know, they'll probably be reaching out to you as often just to make sure that your pre-approval is still valid. Excellent. Good. Some, some no-nonsense things that you can do. So what are some of those things that borrowers can then uh, do to maybe improve their odds of being approved for a loan during this time? I would be really um, aware of your credit right now. Because credit scores have become so important, um, just make sure that you are aware of your credit, making sure that you're making all your payments on time, if you can, of course and um, go to annualcreditreport.com. They're allowing during this time of COVID-19 to pull your credit report every week so that you can make sure that there's nothing on there that you're not expecting. We found a few people that got placed in forbearance without even asking for it. So just, wow. I would recommend that people go to that website and just check your credit once a week. And that way you know what's on there and you know what to expect. And so I even heard a little tip for current homeowners is to, you know, maybe as a result of this have been uh, purposefully or not purposely put into forbearance. And that would be something you could find on that credit report. Absolutely. Yes. Excellent. That's very good. Excellent. Well, Rochelle, thank you so much for your time today and all that you're doing here for our homeowners in Central Oregon. Well, thanks, Eric. And I'm happy to be here. Excellent. Thank you. This has been a, another edition of the Financial Survival Guide. Keep in mind that if you would like to stay informed about changes in the mortgage industry or improving your odds of being approved for a loan, HomeSource here at Neighbor Impact can help you establish a foundation and a plan to make homeownership your reality. I'm Eric Pasha with Neighbor Impact. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe, stay healthy, and take care of yourself.